Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, Eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Haracha Akwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millsong that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well, and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This is the Brother Zion coming at you with another lesson. To feed the lambs through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and to the point. And in this lesson, we are going to get into, okay, the two-thirds, man. Okay, on how... You know, they just rejected to eat the roll. Okay, and that roll is talking about the scriptures. All right, this truth. All right. So let's get into the blue letter. All right, that's where I'm reading from. All right. And let's pull up roll in the Hebrew. All right. Ezekiel 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll. And go speak to the house of Israel. All right. And, and that's what we're doing. Okay. We have built it ourselves up. Okay. We have watched the videos. All right. We have elder apostles that we learn from. Elders that we learn from. Okay. And we have built it ourselves up. We have ate the role. We got the precepts. Okay. We have repented first. We have repented first. Before you can eat the roll, you got to repent. How in the hell can you eat the roll and you proud as hell? You ain't going to know what's going on. The Lord ain't going to open up no knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to some proud nigga. Okay? The secrets are revealed to the meat. All right? The meat is humble. All right? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right. That comes straight from the throne. He's not going to give that to no proud nigga. You can forget about it. No matter how much studying you try, you, you just can't get it. That's the Lord doing that. So humble up. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. Right. You gotta know the uh you gotta know the breakdowns. You gotta know, you know what I'm saying, the parables. You gotta know what's going on in order to teach Jake to stop, you know what I'm saying, what they doing and the, you know what I'm saying, to follow their power. You gotta know what's going on, man. You gotta you gotta know the breakdowns. And the and, and you know what I'm saying, the men of the Lord got those breakdowns from the elder apostles all the way down to ourselves. All right, all the way from Abba Bivens, all the way down to ourselves. All right. And we speaking to the house of Israel. Okay, which is a rebellious house. Okay. All right. And, you know, through the spirit, we are uh, coming through the spirit of Ezekiel, man. Because Ezekiel was dealing with some two-third niggas, man. I'm talking about some rebellious-ass Negroids. Okay, and the, and look, man, them same rebellious Negroids, all right, it's assholes today. The same assholes back then, it's the same assholes today. Scoffing, don't want to eat the roll. They hate the roll. They are allergic to the roll, you know. This roll goes against their taste buds, I guess, the way they act. And, and like the shit that fly out of their mouth, you know. They just chose not to eat, you know what I'm saying? They just chose not to eat the road, man. But that's a but that's cool though. You're gonna die here. Alright? So if the famine don't get you, goddamn uh the teeth of wild beasts gonna get you. If the teeth if the teeth of wild beasts don't get you, the Gerber troops gonna get you. If the Gerber troops don't get you, alright, uh 
You know what I'm saying? The missiles are gonna get you. If the missiles don't get you, your Howard Shaw will. So just know that. So I opened my mouth and caused me to eat that roll. All right, so let's get roll in the uh, blue letter right quick. In the Hebrew. Strong's H, 4039. Megillah. 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 All right which is a book writing all right volume Woo! the scriptures this knowledge wisdom understanding of the scriptures <clears throat> okay so you know jake chooses not to eat the roll all right ultimately they reject knowledge okay and you know so when you reject knowledge ultimately you reject yahweh shah man you reject yahweh bashim yahweh shah so we got Jose chapter four and verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. You see, see, you don't want to eat the roll. The Lord going to forget you. He going to act like he never even made you. He just going to let everything happen bad to you. Okay, at least we know why we catch a hell. I mean, come on, huh? Because we ate the roll. Because, because, you know, we know why we catch hell. We understand that we know the history so we can understand the mystery. You understand? That's why this truth is easy. Okay, when you fully repent, you can read the scriptures. There are some scriptures you got to get taught, but but you know what I'm saying? But a lot of these scriptures break down itself, man. Like, seriously. A lot of these scriptures break down itself, and you know what I'm saying? Jake is so, you know what I'm saying? Two-thirds of our people are so wax gross to the point where they can't understand because their spirit is wax gross. The Lord ain't going to let them understand. You see? These two third niggas don't want to learn. That's why they gonna die here. They don't want to repent. They think the way they is is the right thing. Like you just autumn look, everybody ain't perfect here. Okay? We gotta follow the laws to the best of our ability. So don't act like your shit don't stink. Roses do smell like boo-boo. You know, Andre Three Stacks did a song like that. You know, roses do smell like boo-boo. So don't get it fucked up. For real. The only time we're going to be perfect is when we get on the chariots. Lord willing, we are part of that number. Lord willing, the Lord a see fit that our spirits was the uh, ones that was written in the book of life. All right. So them niggas reject knowledge. I got second Ezra chapter nine. All right. In verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits. Woo. They get all them little benefits. They get money from the government. They get benefits from that. They get benefits from that little hoe ass job. They get benefits, you know, any and everywhere, man. You can you know what I'm saying? They got pale grants, they got all types of shit. All right. For as such as in their life have received benefits. All right. Having a car is a benefit. You know, having, you know, name brand clothes, having Jordans every day is a benefit. Because you can have no shoes. But you can wear Jordans every day. 
that's a benefit. Okay? Having, you know what I'm saying, a few thousand in the bank, that's a benefit. Okay? For as such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. You got all these businesses, you got all this shit popping, but you still don't know Yahweh Shah. You still don't know your how about Shem Yahushua. You know? Come on, now. You doing all that shit in the world, but you still don't know your power. Which brings me, we're going to go back, but it brings me to this scripture. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Okay? A ox and an ass are stubborn as fuck. But they know where home at. Why don't you know where home at? Because you don't want to know where home at. You like being a damn vagabond because this ain't your home. This ain't your rest. You acting like you at the crib with your feet up. You should be uncomfortable. How in the hell can you be comfortable and in your rest and the heathen is over you? You not even equal to a heathen. They let your dumb black ass believe that. The ox knoweth his owner, and and the ass his master's crib. Right. Two stubborn ass animals, but they know where home at. But you don't. You don't know where your owner at. Your owner is your Habashim Awashai. But you let Esau dog your ass, talk to you retarded, crazy. And you still love this devil. And this devil do not feel the same way about you. I don't give a fuck if this is the is the coolest white boy. I'm buying, you're drinking. He can be them type niggas. And look, he still look at you like a nigger. Believe that. You think your home is here with the devil, Esau which is the so-called white man, all right? And he ain't white, he is red. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider, right? Because y'all don't give a fuck. That's y'all problem. Jake is the masters of not giving a fuck. That is a heavy enchantment. I believe I don't give a fuck is a spirit because it's because it's laden on Jake that I don't give a fuck spirit. It ain't at my house. I don't give a fuck. My bills paid. My di- and you still got to pay bills. We are subject to payments, nigga. We are subject to payments. You ain't supposed to pay no goddamn bills. This ain't living. The fuck? What, let me guess. What do uh what Esau like to say? Uh, you living a dream? What dream? This ain't no... You know what? This is a dream. It's a nightmare. That's what it is. Yes, I'm living the nightmare. Because <laughs> this ain't no damn dream. Technically, it is a dream because the scriptures say that, you know, uh, you know, this is going to be like a dream that Esau even is going to fly away as a dream. You know, this whole life on this side going to feel like a dream. It's going to feel like a blur. You know. Verse four, a sinful nation of people laden with iniquity. Man. Man. 
You got cousins. You got little dirt. You got little skeletons in your closet too. We all do. All right? But you got people that's 30, 40, 50, 70 times more wicked than you. And they're laden with iniquity with no fear. When they go off, they got no fear. They don't they don't be feeling all bad and feeling like shit and try to repent. They got zero fear. They think what they doing is official and you can't tell them nothing about it. And they are what? A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are going away backward, right? These ass backwards ass niggas, man. That's their problem, okay? These ass backwards Negroids that don't want to listen, that think they just got it all figured out. Cool. I'm glad you feel that way. So when all hell break loose, don't be asking the men of the Lord for no motherfucking questions because we ain't got no answers. Okay, we're going to turn you around, all right, and we're going to send you off. Don't start asking questions now. Ask your Christian pastor. Ask that pork eat motherfucker for all of the uh, questions you need, for all the answers you need. Go to that nigga. Or that woman, because there's a lot of women pastors now. There's a lot of women teaching more and more and more as the days go on. It's just completely upside down. All right. And that's why the Lord say they are going away backward. Everything is upside down, man. They putting the woman first. The woman is talking talking back to, to her man. That shit w- wasn't flying in the um ancient world, man. A woman just, you know, butting into men's conversations. Men is talking and women just feel empowered just to be involved in it. Like, that's going off, man. You ain't got nothing to talk about in a man conversation. Just off that is backwards. Women talking back to their man backwards. That's, man, that like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, though. Because all that's prophecy and all that has to happen. So I'm glad the woman got their glory on this side because it's all about the man in the kingdom. We are going to be the shit, so to speak, you know? Let's go back to uh, 2 Ezra 9 and we are closed. 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse 11, and they have loathed my law. Right, man. They hate the law of Yahweh Shemel Awashah. They hate, you know what I'm saying, what Yahweh Shemel Awashah got to say about stuff. This ain't your life. Yahweh Shemel Awashah got a tab on that life, man. He can require your past and, and, and straight take your soul. You don't own that shit. What are you talking about? You got to be a fucking idiot to think that you own your soul. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, own that thing, man. All right? He got a receipt on that soul, bro. So don't get it fucked up. While they had yet liberty, and when a place of repentance was opened on to them, Understood not, but despised it. Right. Y'all scoff. Y'all talk shit. Y'all run y'all mouth. Y'all be proud. Y'all laugh. Y'all think y'all just like, 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the Lord just dealing with y'all. Scoffing at men of the Lord, telling you that two men not supposed to be holding hands, walking down the street. That y'all not supposed to be doing that type of stuff. Just telling them just normal, moral things that the scriptures talk about that we despise because we hate what the most high hate. And the most high do hate. So don't act like, come on, huh? You hate. You hate the most high law. So you think the most high don't hate you? You see what I'm saying? Those that hate the law, the most high hate them. Believe that. Why would he look out for you and you hate him? But if your ass facing life, you're going to be praying to you. How about your mouth shot in? If you had a gun in your motherfucking head and people got t-shirts wrapped around their face, you're going to be scared then. For real. You want to pray then. You want to, you need a sign then. But you hate the most high law? No, fuck you, man. Excuse my French. If you hate the most high law, fuck you. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Y'all got to get your ass whooped. The, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, about Shema was shot need examples, right? Somebody got to be an example. And Yahweh and, and Shema was shot like to make examples out of niggas. So be curious how the righteous shall be saved and not how these niggas is going to get destroyed. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Haracha Akwadash for giving the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and sincerity. They steered us well. And they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. We on the next one. Aparatazah. Shalom.